Hey skaters, I'm Sophie. I'm the shaper and founder of Whitetail Skateboards. I am so stoked to present the first of the Whitetail's cat series, the new Feral Cat Park Surfer. I've been wanting to make this video for weeks, but I didn't know where to start. There is so much I want to say about the new Feral Cat, like how I came up with this design, how it allowed me to unlock new tricks, and learn way faster and most importantly to have a much more fun safe and chill skate park experience i designed the feral cat to try and see if i can take everything i love from surf skating and combine it with everything i love from regular street skating and combine them into one single deck with minimal trade-off that was the whole idea that motivated me to work on this shape this feral cat park surfer has been a turning point in my skate park riding and my whole skateboarding and surf skating journey. In this video, I will try to put in words what's magical about the feral cat and what makes it so special in my opinion. I intend to make more videos about the designing process, the different utilization of the deck and how to set it up to customize it to your style. But today I will mainly focus on the skate park surfer side of it. I will also explain why I'm relentless and devoted to my mission of coming up with performance decks for our community. I will explain why I do persevere in this hardcore industry. So a little backstory, I've been riding skate parks for uh, three to four years. And although I love pump tracks, I have a soft spot for skate parks and half pipes. At first, I dared going to the skate park just because I wanted to learn to drop in for ball riding on my surf skate. But to my biggest surprise, I just fell in love with skate parks. At this point, I was torn inside because my love of skate park was growing, yet I still really enjoyed the feel of surf skate. That was, I believe, the first seed of the feral cat that started germinating inside of me. Before I go further, I must mention that if a deck like the Feral Cat had existed back then, my learning of dropping in would have been faster and less daunting. Certain features, which I will discuss uh, later, make drop-ins more intuitive, comfortable, and above all, safer and less scary. What the Feral Cat offers is just a safer and more intuitive way to learn. So, who's the Feral Cat? Shaped out of a longing for the sweet spot that combines the best of both worlds, the Feral Cat bridges the gap between conventional skateboarding and surf skating. Although I enjoy riding a popsicle, I was ready for an evolution and I felt like there was a gap on the market and that's this gap I'm trying to fulfill with my new cat series of park surfers. So what makes it so special? What sets the Feral Cat apart is the blend of features that are often mutually exclusive. Its magic lies in the distinctive combination where there's usually a trade-off. The Feral Cat kind of offers the possibility to have it all. The magic lies in the synchronization created by those features, which are rarely, if ever, combined. It's not just more value for the money, but the result of a synergic interaction between the specs and attributes. It's 32 inches long, about the size of a popsicle. It's nine inches wide at foot position. It tapers around the belt, so it offers a good grab of the rail for more controlled slides, and it shaves off some unnecessary weight. It has a deep 8.5 degrees concave and kick tail and a rocker nose of 18.3 degrees just like a popsicle. Therefore most tricks can be performed like a popsicle. The feral cat magic resides in its ability to harmoniously combine specs that have been mutually exclusive so far and uniting features that have traditionally been seen as incompatible. It's a fairly small nimble deck with a rocker nose and wheelbase options from 14 to 17. So just as an example, short decks with rocker nose cannot normally host 16 and 17 wheelbase options. Each line has been thoroughly thought to be functional 
and no functionality have been sacrificed over aesthetics. I always start working on the functionality and writing features. Then I will test it over and over in real life and I reshape it until it's perfect. And only after that I will polish uh, the, the visual aspect to make it as pleasing to the eyes as possible without sacrificing any of the functional features. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how it feels under my feet and how it facilitates me to reach my skate goals. With the feral cat, you will notice that you can have fun right off the bat, um, as opposed to a popsicle conventional setup. They can be a little intimidating at first and feel a little uncomfortable. And if you're like me, you don't have enough time to skate as much as you would like to and you want to start to evolve right from the start, then the Feral Cat could be a really great option as it's um, intuitive, it's easy to start on, and it's not limited. You'll be able to perform all the tricks you want to perform and it's just going to be um, easier to get there. After six months of riding it, I can say that it changed my whole uh, skateboarding journey. And one of the most important thing I noticed with this setup is that I can make the most of each session. I started the skate parks, I was almost 40. So I was cautious and uh, a little bit intimidated by the speed of certain riders. In most of my session, I was just trying to get out of the way and don't like bother anyone and don't cause an accident. So I couldn't skate and enjoy it as much as I would like to. With this setup, my confidence just rised by a mile. I arrive at the park and I can skate right away. The fact that I'm using surf skate trucks, it's really easy to dodge like scooter kids to get out of the way when I see like a really good rider coming full speed to try his tricks. I'm much more confident to ride in crowded parks because of the fact that uh, it's really malleable. It's, a, it's so well designed to be really easy to uh, make your way like a snake around like <laughs> all the kids and the chaos. This old setup is the safer setup I never had. I've been able to try new tricks that I, I wouldn't have been able to even try with a, a popsicle. And I see a lot of mainly older people that are padded from head to toe and they really want to stay safe. And that's clever. That's the thing to do. I totally um, respect that. But it seems like no one is talking about building a safer setup. And I think it's weird because it's like wearing a helmet in a dangerous car while you could just get a Volvo or something. Another thing I noticed with the Feral Cat is that since the tail just fall perfectly on the cupping when I want to drop in, I can cram so much more lines in one sesh because I arrive on the cupping and I just drop and go while before I would, um, I would be less comfortable in a popsicle. The foot placement is not as intuitive. So I would take like a little moment to install my deck. And by this time, there's a scooter kid that say, snaked me and my line is completely ruined. Just lost my momentum to go. So there is so much more I want to say about the feral cat. I worked really, really hard on this design and I had this idea in my mind and these feelings I wanted to reach. And I find that um, it's, exactly the materialization of all those wishes I had. So I incorporated a lot of features that I couldn't address in this video. So please, please tell me uh, what do you want me to talk about? Which questions do you have? What do you want me to address? And I will uh, base my uh, next videos on your comments. So don't hesitate. Please tell me because I could speak about the feral cat for hours and um, I, I, I guess no one will listen to such a long video. So thank you for everyone who's still watching. It means the world to me.